Hello, my name is Hamed Kagazci from Automatics and Electroenergetics Department of Baku Engineering University. Welcome to our course. Uh, I hope you will enjoy it. As the topic up of this course indicates, uh, the automatic control systems um, produce broad overview of actually methods and ideas that can be used that uh, actually can be used in different and for design controllers for a dynamic systems. Therefore, it can be uh, so important in many different uh, engineering fields such as electrical and electronics engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, and so on. Let's get started with the syllabus. In this course, we will talk about the open loop and uh, closed loop systems as a classification of the control systems. And also, we will talk about the basics of feedback. Then, uh, we will talk about the block diagram transfer function and signal flow graph. Uh, you will see that uh, for control systems, uh, mod mathematical modeling of these control systems, this uh, actually dynamic system is so important. And uh, one of the way of uh, modeling the dynamic system in mathematical terms uh, is transfer function, as you see here. Again, we talk about the mathematical modeling of control system. We talk about the time response analysis, frequency response analysis. Uh, after them, uh, I will talk about the stability by Rose criteria, Roots locus, Nyquist and both plots. And at the end, uh, we will try to design controllers. Uh, as I said, uh, one of the most important topics in the case of automatic control systems. The references that uh, we will use during this course are the first one is Modern Control Engineering by Ogata, uh, this book. The second one is Automatic Control System by Benjamin Ko, this book. And the third one is Modern Control System by Seedorf, this book. These three books are so important uh, in the case of automatic control system. Okay, let's get started with the uh, introduction. As I said at the beginning of this course, the automatic control system is so important topic uh, in different uh, field of engineering and science. So here, I would like to show you some uh, of the application of automatic controls, like smart transportation systems, computer control, robotics, voltage stabilizer systems, nanotechnology, power systems, weapon systems, intelligence systems and so on. As you see, the co automatic controls uh, are used in different topics in the uh, engineering and science. Okay, let's talk about the system. What is the system? What do you think about that? Actually, we can say that a system, a system as you see here, is an entity that we give input and we get an output. So we can say that a system is an interconnection of components forming a system configuration and uh, that work these components together as a whole. This is the system, which is called in our case a dynamic system. Actually, uh, we, we are working with the dynamic system in the automatic control systems uh, course. Okay, um, 
Before starting the main topics of this course, let's talk about the, some uh, basic terminologies. The first one is controlled variable. The controlled variable is the quantity or condition that is measured and controlled. Normally, the controlled variable is the output of the system. The second one is control signal. What is the control signal? We, said, we say that the control signal is the quantity or condition that is varied by the controller so as to affect the value of the controlled variable. Plant. Actually, our system is a plant. Any physical object to be controlled is a plant. This physical object can be a mechanical device, a heating furnace, or a chemical reactor, uh, etc. Processes. Any operation to be controlled is a process. Examples are chemical, economic, and biological processes. All of the processes during these uh, control systems are uh, the processes. Systems. I talk about that, and again, I will mention uh, these terms because it's so important. A system is a combination of components that acts together and perform a certain object. Actually, all of these systems are, uh, has an uh, objective and target and purpose, actually. Another one is disturbances. A disturbance is a signal that tends to adversely affect the value of the output of the system. Actually, our no that the noise that uh, can be applied to the system and affect the output of the system uh, is called the disturbance. Feedback control. Feedback control refers to an operation uh, that uh, in the presence of disturbances tends to reduce the difference between the output of a system and some reference inputs. In our system, uh, actually, uh, we will talk about that. Uh, one of the classification of control system is closed loop control system. Uh, in that uh, closed loop systems, we have feedback. The task of this feedback is that to reduce, to reduce difference between the output of the system and the reference input. We will talk about all of these phrases in detail. Okay, now uh, let's talk about this example of control system, which is called the speed control system. It's the basic principle of what's a speed governor. Here we have the, an engine and the aim of this control system is to uh, actually adjust and have control on the speed of the engine. In this system, the amount of fuel admitted to the engine is adjusted according to the difference between the actual, uh, actual speed of the engine and the desired value. If we have, actually, if the actual speed of engine drops below the desired value, the speed of the governor decreases. So the control value moves downward, and the more fuel amount goes through the engine and calls to increase the speed of engine until reach to the desired value. On the other hand, if the speed of engine increase, so the control valve move upward 
and cause to decrease the amount of fuel going through to the engine. And it causes to decrease in the speed of the engine until reached to the uh, desired value, actually. This is a principle of uh, control system, uh, the basic concept of control system uh, at this example is like that. Okay, let's talk about the terminologies uh, that uh, we have learned in the previous slide. What do you think about the plant of this uh, system? Actually, the engine is our plant control system. What about the controlled variable? In this case, our controlled variable is a speed of engine. Actually, we have control, we, we would like to control the speed of the uh, engine, actually, in this case. What do you think about the control signal? The control signal. Actually, the amount of fuel is our control signal. So, we talk about the disturbances. In this case, actually, at this example, we can say that an unexpected change in the load, this is our load, is a disturbance, disturbances that causes to change the speed of the engine. So, we can say that the difference between the desired speed and the actual speed is the error, sig uh, error signal. Okay, let's look at this example. Another uh, example of the control system can be temperature control system. Uh, suppose that we have an electric furnace, as you see here, and we measure the temperature of this electric furnace uh, by thermometer. So, the measured temperature is fed to the controller. Actually, before sending the temperature to the controller, uh, we convert the analog temperature because the thermometer measures the analog value of temperature. So we convert the analog measure to the digital temperature. So the digital value is fed to the control uh, via interface. So, the digital value is compared with the desired value programmed into the controller and the switchable command will be sent to the heater to control the temperature of the electric furnace. Suppose that, suppose that The measured temperature here is higher than the desired value. So, this controller sends the command via interface amplifier and relay to the heater and turn off the heater. Okay? On the other hand, if the temperature of the electric furnace, which is fed to the controller is lower than desired value, then again the program, the controller uh, send the command uh, to the heater and turn on the heater up to the, uh, and increase the temperature up to the reach to the desired value. Okay, I think during these two uh, examples, uh, I hope you learn the concept of the control system and uh, what do we would like to do during this course is to uh, talk about these controllers and design these controllers and so on. 
Okay. One of the classification of the uh, control systems is uh, actually open loop and, con and closed loop system. Actually, we can uh, classify the control systems into two groups. The first one is open loop, closed, uh, open loop control systems and the second one is closed loop control system. Let's talk about the open loop control system. Normally, we said that an open loop control system is the system that output is neither measured nor feedback for com comparison with the input. Actually, as you see here, this is an open loop control system. We don't have any uh, control um, on the output of the system. Actually, we cannot compare the value of the output with the uh, reference input. And normally, the open loop control system uh, can be divided into two parts. The first one is controller, and the second one is controlled process, as you see here. So this controller can be um, an amplifier, mechanical linkage, a filter, um, or other devices. And in the complex case, we can uh, use the microprocessor uh, instead of controller. Actually, during this, uh, into this controller, we try to adjust the uh, value, actually this signal, and adjusted signal go through the control process. Okay, it's an example of one open loop control system. As you see here, with the battery, we supply the voltage, which is proportion, proportional to the speed of the DC motor. Actually, during, with the, this DC motor, we try to rotate the um, CD driver, actually. As you see here, we don't have any control on the speed of this DC motor. The desired value of this uh, motor uh, is uh, calibrated by factory, actually. Only we could uh, supply the voltage which is proportional to the uh, speed of DC motor. Okay, the next one is closed loop control system. In the controls, closed loop control system, as you see here, we can control the output signal, as you see here, via feedback signal. Actually, we said that the difference between the reference input and the feedback signal is our error signal. This error signal, this uh, error signal is fed to the controller and this signal is adjusted and is given to the control process, our system. So we can uh, get the output. It help this feedback help us to have a more stable output and more suitable uh, output and useful output uh, in this system. Actually, the f uh, closed loop systems are uh, more complex. Uh, and um, have high cost, but uh, these systems are so useful and we uh, will consider and we deal with this control loop system, a uh, closed loop control system during this uh, course. Okay, the same example here, the CD driver, but the difference with the another one is that here we 
have the feedback signal actually we can control the speed of DC motor using touchometer what happened here we supply the voltage and using touchometer we can send the speed actual speed of the DC motor and compare with the reference value then we can uh, have control and adju adjust to this, to this signal and again send this uh, signal to the DC motor to rotate the CD driver. The difference here is that we can have control on the speed of the uh, DC motor. Okay, let's talk about that in detail. Suppose that we have the, actually we have a plant. DC motor, okay? This is our plant or system. We give the input V of T, this is the voltage which is supplied with, from here and we can get the output Y of T and also we have the reference signal or the reference value which is called R of T. So we can take the output, which is called the feedback B of T, and compare compare the B of T with the R of T, the feedback with the reference value. So we can have the error signal here. E of T. This error signal is given to the controller and the adjusted signal is going through the DC motor. This signal is controlled and adjusted signal. Going and is different from the uh, signal that we uh, give to the DC motor at the beginning and start of the system. Again, we get the output and send the feedback and compare the error signal adjust it and give to the DC motor. Actually this is the principle of uh, closed loop system. Okay, uh, I think uh, it's enough for today. Thank you for watching us. See you later.